Many people know Ram Branch. It is one of the cornerstones of Twitch chat. Its very existence in itself is a meme. What most people don't know is there are over a hundred of them. Today, we will be diving into the inner workings of Grant McDonald's mind and reviewing all the Ram Branches 1 through 100. If you are under the age of 13, I suggest you stop watching this video or prepare to visit a psychiatrist. This video took me a while. I'm tired of hearing the words 12 inch cock, so if you could subscribe, that'd be great. Thanks and enjoy the video. Ram Branch 1 is a classic. The 18 naked cowboys at the start tells you immediately what type of video you're going to be getting into. Easily, S tier. Ram Branch 2 is a more sexual song that plays with the American national anthem. It's kind of weird. That combo really doesn't go well together. More of a C tier. In Ram Ranch 3, Grant McDonald is still sticking with the sexual theme, much to my dismay. In this one, he's moving more into country with the soundtrack, and it fails to capture the essence of Ram Ranch 1 again. C tier. Ram Ranch 4 brings us a rock slash metal riff to start. It is quite nice and is a good addition to an otherwise stale genre. I give Ram Ranch 4. A B. Ram Ranch 5 gives us a nice rock riff as an homage to Ram Ranch 4, and it's quite nice to hear and goes well with the lyrics. I'm giving it a B. Ram Ranch 6 is the first one to mention Prince Harry. This is this theme is definitely gonna continue. For me, the piano is a bit out of place here, but otherwise it's a generic Ram Ranch song. I'm gonna give it eh. I see tier. Ram Ranch 7 is easily one of the best Ram Ranches. It's bring, it brings its own unique brand to the spectrum, and it, it takes the Prince Harry of Ram Ranch 6 and adapts it to an extreme. This is easily one of the best. S tier. Ram Ranch 8 is a step down from 7, although 7 was easily one of the best. Ram Ranch 8 dr generally drops the ball. C tier. Ram Ranch 9 brings us back to the rock tone and it works well. I enjoy the addition because 8 dropped the ball and 9 picked it back up. B tier. Ram Ranch 10 brings us to a more lo-fi tone in the series that occasionally comes back. It somehow overcomes everything and sounds decent. We never expected Grant McDonald to go this route. B tier. Cowboys are back in Montreal on Ram Ranch 11 and a more metal tone appears. Constant variation of the soundtrack is what is keeping the series alive. In my eyes, Ram Ranch 7 is a B. 12 uses the same beat as 11 this time, and the Cowboys are fucking the quote, oil rigger boys. Since it uses the same beat, I'm gonna give it a C, but the lyrics are fine on their own. Ram Ranch 13 takes us to Helsinki, Finland as quote, Trump is fucking Putin. This is wildly different from Ram Ranch 12. The lyrics alone make this A tier. In 14, the Cowboys are now in Halifax, but this new location brings back the lo-fi from 10. I think it works well if the vocals match the tone. There is no Ram Ranch 14 image for the chart, but it gets an imaginary B tier. Ram Ranch 15 brings us back to the country slash rock and it introduces the bikers. These guys will come back every so often and in Ram Ranch 15, it appears that McDonald's favorite word is black hole. Ram Ranch 15 gets the D tier. 16 brings a more orchestral theme to it and brings the young Navy cadets in. This is again a lackluster song, but we do get a new addition on the fuck roster. D tier. The rock theme returns to 17 and somehow and somehow fails to ele elevate it. The rest of the Ram Ranches. Unfortunately, this is also a D tier. Prince Harry and the piano return on Ram Ranch 18. The piano transitions well into a rock theme at first. The chemistry is off, but the song goes on and connects it well. Ram Ranch 18, it's a B tier. A synthesized, a synth, a synth is introduced in 19 along with the lo-fi. It's one of the funnier ones and actually pretty decent. This one, it's an A tier. 20 is one of the better country themes, and it bodes well for the rest that choose to adopt this. It was an above average Ram Ranch B tier. We are one fifth done with this, and my sanity is rapidly leaving me. We return to Halifax in 20 long 
2021 along with a rock theme. Other than that, it was a pretty lackluster D tier. We're still in Halifax and Ram Ranch 22 as the neon vibe I'm picking up from this is the wrong choice. It blends badly with the song and primar primarily the lyrics D tier. The person eating in the background is extremely annoying and it puts 23 down on the rankings because of it. I couldn't bear listening to the song, so I'm not going to subject you to that. Metal returns at 24 with a well welcome change up. McDonald focuses more on streamers in 24 with mentions of mainly Ice Poseidon. This one, for its funny factor alone, it's an A tier. This is the first time the Cowboys go to Africa and it is partnered with the hip hop beat. The beat by itself is not bad and is quite good, but the lyrics of 25 are subpar. And thus, 25 suffers and is in B, C tier instead of B. A goat belch brings us into Ram Ranch 26, which reminds me of the band The Who. Lyrics aside, the beat was fine, and that alone makes it a C tier. The lyrics were better, it could have easily been a B tier. 27 has a techno vibe to it as long with the all, along with bringing back the star of Ram Branch, Prince Harry A tier quote University of Texas football field in the dark that's what Ram Ranch 28 starts us off with and it's one of the funniest Ram Ranches yet A tier the bikers return in 29 along with the metal theme this time in instead of Texas we are in Notre Dame this one is again A tier Halifax returns in Ram Ranch 30, McDonald has been focusing on fucking pledge boys for the last couple of Ram Ranches, and it's getting quite annoying. C tier. Sharp turn away from 30. 31 brings us to Windsor Castle along with the Midwest Cowboy track. Pledge boys are still in the spot where light, must have, much to their dismay. C tier. Still sticking with the country track, we go to Alabama in Ram Ranch 32, the pledge boys are getting a bit stale at this point if they as they have been in the past couple of ram ranches 32 gets a d in my eyes that came out wrong metal returns in 33 as the main target finally switches from from pledge boys to chamber boys and rock and roll boys this one gets a d in my eyes again a funny joke 34 brings us to middle earth as we are now fucking legoloth and for some reason prince harry is accompanying us this was again a very funny Ram Ranch and gets an A tier. A staggering difference between 34 and 35. We are now enjoying some jazz and blues along with the well known Ram Ranch style. We have returned to Ram Ranch as well in 35. But aside from that, it's a B. Pink Floyd is the target in Ram Ranch 36 as we transition back into a rock and roll style. This constant switching of characters for me is what keep is what is keeping the series alive. 36 gets a B. Techno returns in 37 along with the new target of the Discord app, quote, Techie Boys. This is a very wild shift away from Pink the Band Pink Floyd. <laughs> it's again one of the funny funnier ones, so it gets a high B. We're finally back in Ram Ranch with 38, and there's really nothing to say about it. It's pretty average, so C tier. 39 starts us with, quote, The Black Cock Gang has captured Greg in Australia. It tells you everything you need to know about Ram Ranch 39. High B. Woody has some of the funniest lyrics in the entire series, and I had to hold back laughing writing this. A. Middle Earth makes its return along with the huge hard dragon cock. It is again very funny. Ram Ranch 41 gets an A. 42 brings us to a more serious tone as we quote ride into Hogwarts as Harry Potter is now the target of the Ram Ranch gang. A. We bring a saddened piano tone to Ram Ranch 43 as it appears Dwight has died. B tier. Rock and Roll returns to Ram Ranch 44 as it has one of the best soundtracks, in my opinion. Ram Ranch 44 is an S tier. For Ram Ranch 45, the Grog Boys have been captured by the Black Cock Gang as the US Marines and Ram Ranch Boys team up to rescue them. 45 is a B. Country returns as its breeding day at Ram Ranch as it's time to quote, fuck and fuck and fuck. Ram Ranch 46 gives us an A. 
Metal returns to 47. As Sean Mended feeds, quote, loads and loads of cum to the Black Cock Gang. I never want anyone to hear me saying this out loud. 47 gets a B. The intro to 48 is kind of annoying as it seems their rapper is constantly rubbing together in the background, a very lackluster addition to a legacy of good songs. See, Sean is our main target in 49 as he gets fucked by, quote, all the wild jocks. There's no more to say about Ram Ranch 49, it gets a C tier. Ram Ranch 50 is like 48 with the rapper in the background and very annoying. 50 gets a D. We've reached the halfway point in this review and my mental state is not boding well. 51 takes a step up from 50 as it is hard to do worse than it, we return to some of the more grounded lyrics with a simple pre premise of 12 inch horse cocks. This one gets a B in my eyes. The Indian Braves take center stage as no one escapes the eyes of Grant McDonald. According to McDonald, the Indian Braves want whites to quote, be their slaves. And Ranch 52 gets an A. The Tractor Boys are Grant's target for 53, as we have the same theme from Ram Ranch 2. It would have been a B, but for reusing soundtracks, C. In Ram Ranch 54, Sean Mendes is our target. The speed of the lyrics works somewhat well with the track, but other than that, it, fa it falls apart. You get to see in my eyes. Take a sharp turn away from rock and roll and more towards country, as we have a face off between the Ram Ranch Cowboys and the Black Cock Gang. This one gets a low A. We're sticking with country as Sean is again our main target. There's nothing really notable about it. If you want to hear Sean Mendez in the words come a lot, Ram Ranch 56 is for you. It's a C tier. Grant's mind has switched away from Sean and back to the Pledge Boys with 57. They have evaded his gaze for long enough and it's time he showed them who the man was. Ram Ranch 57 gets a C. Metal returns with 58 as it, seemed to, as it seems the Pledge Boys have escaped. Unfortunately, Sean Mendez has not. Besides that, there's nothing really notable about 58. It gets a C. E <laughs> Elon Musk has invited eight Ram Ranch cowboys to go to Mars. This is a sentence I never thought I would hear in my life. In space, most of the Ram Ranches we have left. 59. It's an A for starting something new. We are on the spacecraft to Mars on Ram Ranch 60, and we are now fucking Justin Bieber. Ram Ranch 60 is easily an A. Still on the spacecraft on Ram Ranch 61, there is no real difference besides the track between 60 and 61, besides the addition of mainly Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt is one of a myriad of celebrities that will be joining us in the next couple of Ram Ranches. 61. It's a B. The Black Cock Gang are now on the spacecraft as well, as it appears Elon's spaceship has been boarded by the Black Cock Gang. The soundtrack is very good and gets an A. Can't include the audio to 63 because the background noise is porn, and then though all of the background noises for all of the Ram Ranches are poor, this one, it, it, it's fucking loud as shit. I can't have it. It, it's, it gets a D. Nothing notable about Ram Ranch 64. The rock track is nice though, and it gets a C. Soundtrack again somewhat works with the lyrics and, and ends up with a nice combination for Ram Ranch 65. We are back on the spacecraft in 66 and again, no sound because the background is just straight porn. Prince Harry pulls up next to Elon's spaceship as Prince Harry, quote, wants to be fucked. Ram Ranch 67 gets a B. Quote, Thor and Spider-Man coming aboard is again a sentence I would never have thought I would hear in my life. Even though it makes me laugh, everything else about the song sucked. For those lyrics alone, Ram Ranch 68 gets the B. I am saddened to say that there is no Ram Ranch 69. If there is, it wasn't in the playlist I was using. Ram Ranch 70 brings us an upbeat tune as the Pledge Boys have returned in their own spaceship. Nothing really notable it's about 71, it's your typical Ram Ranch song, for that it gets a C tier. The Prince of Piss shows up in Ram Ranch 72. I have never heard about this character before and I am I am constantly losing my sanity with each and every iteration of Ram Ranch. 72 gets a B. Dwight's cock ship has dock with Elon's ship along with the cock ring boys in Ram Ranch 73, C tier. The Black Cock Gang has again captured members of the Cowboy Crew. We are go we are again going on a rescue mission in Ram Ranch 74. C tier. Another cock ship appears that is filled with frat cocks. 
I have no idea what is happening anymore. C tier. I'm starting to think that we'll never make it to Mars as our members keep getting kidnapped by the Blackcock gang. This comes with Ram Ranch 76 as the, they have taken more members of the cowboy crew. Ram Ranch 76 gets a C tier. In Ram Ranch 77, a banjo opens up as the governor of California and Donald Trump Jr. appear on the spaceship to Mars. 77 gets an A. 26 black cock boys are going to penetrate the starship with their cock ship. That is all you need to know about Ram Ranch 78. And thus, it gets an A. Nothing really notable happens in 79. C tier. University of Texas Austin Drum Corps appear and are trying to save the Grog Boys in Ram Ranch 80. A. Prince Edward Island Fuck Boys are now attending this trip to the Red Planet as we learn that they have their own spacecraft as well as everyone fucking else apparently. Ram Ranch 81 gets an A tier. Somehow, we are back at Ram Ranch in Ram Ranch 82, and the Cowboys are again getting fucked by the Black Cock Gang. C tier for 82. There's no soundtrack to 83, and it's just lyrics, and because of that, Ram Ranch 83 suffers heavily and is now a D. Sean Mendes has been the main target for the past 20 Ram Ranches, and it's getting very stale. At this point, I don't know what is happening anymore, and I think Grant McDonald is losing his fucking mind. 84 gets a D. In Ram Ranch 85, we are still in space, and a state and a spaceship marks with the N word approaches. B tier. Della returns with the metal theme, as Grant McDonald seems to be getting more and more racist as the use of the N-word appears more and more. C tier for Ram Ranch 86. Thor is getting butt-fucked in Ram Ranch 87 as the N-word appears yet again. C tier again. The cock ship is being overtaken as 88 shares the same tone as 87. Nothing, nothing really special about it. D tier. An intense beat picks up in Ram Ranch 89. There are no lyrics to the song and it again suffers tremendously because of it. In Ram Ranch 90, we are still in the spaceship as yet another spaceship joins the fray as to quote, white virgin buttholes want to be fucked. Ram Ranch 90 gets a B. A cock ship lands at Ram Ranch, which is accompanied by a hard R N word. I don't know what's happening anymore. Ram Ranch 91 is a D. 22 wild rodeo boys appear in Ram Ranch 92, and you guessed it, they want to be fucked. 92 is a low C. Another spaceship appears as Prince Harry now has three captives along with Nick Jonas. Besides that, Ram Ranch 93 is a C tier. Nothing really new happens in Ram Ranch 94 or 95, they're both D tier. Ram Ranch 96 is a lackluster beat and shit lyrics. There's nothing really more to say about it, and gets a D. Ram Ranch 97 has no soundtrack at all, and is again, suffers tremendously because of it, and it's in D. Metal returns in 98, which is a giant step up from 97. The lyrics are repetitive as always, but that's what you should expect from Ram Ranch. 98 gets a B. Techno returns with an echo in the lyrics, gives me Payday 2 vibes, which is a good thing. Ram Ranch 99 gets an A. 40 naked N-words return in Ram Ranch 100, and as usual, they are fucking everyone. The beat accompanying the lyrics is pretty good, but because of the N-word, with the hard R, it only gets a B. The voices in my head have finally stopped, and I am now at peace with myself again, and it feels fucking amazing. We went into our expedition as boys and came out as men, grown men. We challenged our sexuality with all the moaning men and have triumphed. That is it for today. I'm going I'm not going to tell you how many times I heard the words come and to cock. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.